How I get more organic followers on Instagram. There's no step-by-step -step guide for Instagram growth. But there are best practices that help me to reach a wider audience and win over new followers. Here are 12 ways to get more followers on Instagram which I have been following for a couple of years and getting miraculous result. 1. Optimize your bio. Make the most of those 150 characters. Your Instagram bio tells potential followers who you are, what you're about, and what action you hope people will take after visiting your profile. Your Instagram bio should include a clear description of what you do, touches of your personality, a call to action, shop, read more, contact us, etc. A link. Your in-bio link is your only clickable link on Instagram, so use it wisely. Some businesses include a standard link to their website, while others change it regularly to reflect recent posts. But if you want to make it easier on yourself, take advantage of link in bio tools such as ShopGrid that allow you to turn a single link into a catalog of links. Consider including a branded hashtag as well. For example, we encourage our fans to use hashtag BufferLove when they talk about our products. Adding the branded hashtag to our bio tells people which hashtag to include to catch our attention. Plus, when anyone taps on the hashtag, they'll see posts from fans who have used it. 2. Find your best time to post on Instagram. Notice how we didn't say find the best time to post on Instagram. The truth is, there is no universal answer for when to post on Instagram to reach the highest number of people. But there are ways to figure out the ideal times for your followers. First, use Instagram Insights to figure out when your audience is online. Tap the Insights button from your Instagram business profile, scroll to Your Audience, then tap See All. From there, scroll to the bottom to find your audience's most active times. You should also consider when your content will be most relevant. For example, a step-by-step -step recipe video might perform better outside of work hours because people are more likely to be cooking. A coffee shop post, on the other hand, might do well around 2 p.m. when people go through an afternoon slump. Experiment with different posting times and track engagement. 3. Post consistently. A 2021 study of 14 industries shows that businesses share four Instagram posts per week, on average. But we recommend posting at least once a day. Brands that get into a regular flow with Instagram posts tend to see the best results. According to a Tailwind study, Profiles that post daily gain Instagram followers faster than those that post less frequently. With Instagram's algorithmic timeline, consistency is a key element to getting your posts seen. If your posts are shared on a regular basis and picking up good engagement, Instagram's algorithm will likely show your posts near the top of your followers' feeds. Of course, quality is always more important than quantity. Posting more often doesn't necessarily translate to higher engagement rates. Focus on creating content that will resonate with your target audience. 4. Learn how the Instagram algorithm works. Many Instagram users initially panicked about the switch from a chronological feed to the ranked timeline. However, since the change, the average post is seen by 50% more followers than before. So, forget about learning how to beat the Instagram algorithm. Instead, focus on learning how to use the system to your advantage. There are six factors that determine what shows up in each person's timeline. Interest, timeliness, relationship, frequency, following, and usage. Here's a quick rundown of what each of those factors refers to. 1. Interest. How much Instagram thinks a person will like the post based on previous activity. 2. Timeliness. How recent the post is. 3. Relationship. Accounts a person engages with on a regular basis. 4. Frequency. How often a person uses the Instagram app. 5. Following. Posts from the accounts a person follows. 6. Usage. How much time a person spends on Instagram. Instagram's algorithm aims to surface the best content for each individual user. So, while six separate factors may seem like a lot to worry about, the best thing you can do is create high-quality content consistently. 5. Experiment with different content types. Instagram is so much more than photos. Over the years, the app has introduced many ways to share content on the platform. Mixing it up with different content types is one of the best ways to gain more followers on Instagram because it gives you the chance to reach and connect with a wider range of people. Remember, 
The algorithm looks at interest and strives to show people the content types that they interact with most often. So, if one person likes and comments on Instagram Reels more often than other post types, they're likely to see more Reels in their Instagram feed. However, if another person interacts more frequently with carousel posts, they'll see more of that content type in their timeline. 6. Find your brand voice and create unique content. People don't follow your business on social media so they can see sales pitches. They follow your brand because they enjoy your personality and the content you create. What works for one business might not suit your branding, even when you're in similar industries. For example, juggling Daisy's Hobby Farm and Such and Such Farm both consider themselves to be unique farms. Juggling Deuses is all about fun stories, cute photos, and wholesome content. Meanwhile, Such and Such Farm has a more rough around the edges style that includes curse words and humor. Ask yourself what you want your tone to be. Funny? Informative? Playful? Cynical? Your personality should also reflect what you're passionate about. Such and Such Farm believes in sustainably grown produce, so many of their Instagram posts talk about their farming practices. What topics do you address with your Instagram content? Everything you share on your business account should show off your brand's personality and beliefs. Think of your business account as a person. Design a personality for the account and create branding guidelines so you can stay consistent. Branding guidelines should include notes on tone, style, and values along with your brand's colors and fonts. 7. Write great captions. Nice photos catch people's attention, great Instagram captions keep it. Captions give you a chance to provide more context or details about the photo or video you're sharing. Plus, using keywords in captions can help you appear in search results on the app. Instagram captions can be up to 2,200 characters. Of course, not every caption needs to read like a blog post. Play around with different lengths. Some photos pair nicely with a short, quippy caption with a couple of emojis, while others might benefit from something longer and more reflective. The average length of Instagram captions is on the rise, but most brands still don't go anywhere near that 2,200 character limit. In 2020, the average was projected to be 405 characters, up from 142 in 2016. So, when do you go long, and when do you keep it simple? There's no hard and fast rule. Just like with content types, it's best to mix it up. One post has a short caption, while the other specifically directs you to the caption for a longer explanation. 8. Research and use hashtags. We've explored hashtags a lot on the blog, but it seems that nowhere on social media are they quite as important as on Instagram. The right hashtags can expose your image to a large and targeted audience, and Instagram users don't seem to get hashtag fatigue in the same way they might on other networks. Start by finding hashtags that would appeal to your target audience. For instance, with display purposes, you simply type in a few words about your image, and it will recommend the top hashtags to use. If you want to gain more Instagram followers, hashtags are essential. Using hashtags makes your content discoverable via search or filtering when people tap on the same hashtag from another post. People can even follow their favorite hashtag so that top content with that hashtag will show up in their Instagram timeline. Instagram allows up to 30 hashtags per post, but don't tack on extras just to hit 30. Track Maven recommends 9 hashtags for maximum engagement. Just make sure you don't use the same 9 hashtags over and over again. Instead, group your go-to hashtags by category so you can quickly add a few relevant hashtags to each post. 9. Engage with your audience. Engagement is crucial for growth on Instagram. Many brands make the mistake of focusing on likes and comments without considering the people behind those metrics. If you really want to get more Instagram followers, you need to engage your fans in a conversation. Keep in mind that just because someone sees your content, that doesn't mean they currently follow you. If you have a chance to interact with a potential follower, you should take it. Every comment is an opportunity to gain a new follower, or keep a current one, so make sure you respond to each comment you receive. If your hands are already cramping at the thought of tapping away on your phone, don't worry. But don't just wait for your followers to start the conversation. Create engagement opportunities. Use Instagram stickers such as open-ended questions and polls in Instagram stories. Ask questions in your photo captions. 
Encourage people to tag friends in the comments with prompts such as, tag your BFF who you'd invite on this cruise. Or, tag your wine-loving friend who you do this wine tasting with. 10. Collaborate with others. Another great way to gain Instagram followers is to collaborate with others through partnerships or influencer campaigns. Influencer marketing is another way to grow your Instagram following. If you have the budget, you can pay content creators to promote your brand. But if you're hoping to keep it simple, and low-budget, micro-influencers, 1,000 to 10,000 followers, can be very impactful. In fact, content from micro-influencers has higher engagement rates than content from larger accounts. You can seek out micro-influencers to set up collaborations or simply reshare user-generated content, UGC. Collaborations are also a chance to show off your values and personality through association. The businesses and people you align with and support say a lot about your own brand. Partnerships can be especially powerful for local businesses, too. Consider partnering with your neighbors so you can reach a hyper-targeted audience. 11. Link to your Instagram from elsewhere. Make it easy for people to find your Instagram. No one should have to hunt through pages of your website to find your Instagram profile. Add your Instagram account link to Email footers your website's footer and or sidebar. Bios on other social media platforms. Social media posts from team members. 12. Analyze your results. One way to figure out how to get more followers on Instagram is to look into what your current fans respond to. You can monitor several Instagram metrics directly in the app with Instagram insights or through third-party analytics. Don't obsess over vanity metrics such as likes and comments. Instead, think about what the metrics tell you. For example, if you're testing out a new hashtag, metrics such as new followers and reach will tell you more about the value of that hashtag than likes from your current followers will. However, if you're experimenting with different posting times, impressions can give you an idea of when your content is most likely to be seen. Your end goal will determine which metrics matter the most. Watch for trends. Does a specific type of image get more impressions or engagement? Post more of those images and see how your followers respond. Do certain hashtags result in more likes from people who don't follow you? Use those hashtags more often and keep an eye on new followers. I know, maybe my words are not enough to prove my previous work, skill and experience. The footages, you are seeing on the screen right now, are my Instagram accounts, go to the description box and get the links of the three accounts to justify my work skill and experience. Thanks for watching this video.